All right, let's see if we can figure out where I can store this thing. Uh, nope. This garage definitely needs a cleanup. I feel like the only space we have is on the ceiling. Wait a second. Alright you guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for checking this one out. Today we are reviewing a brand new product for our new fishing kayak. So if you guys own a fishing kayak, whether it's a sit on top, sit in, ours is 12 feet long. And even in our garage here in our home, it still takes up quite a bit of space. As y'all saw in that cleaning montage, if I don't keep up with the garage and I throw this thing in here, it's basically taking up the whole thing. So today we have a new product from Store Your Board. They went in ahead and sent us their Teal Triangle Kayak Ceiling Hoist. They're not sponsoring this video, but they did send this over to collaborate and I'll be giving you guys my honest feedback, my honest thoughts. I was doing some research on the product itself and it looks like a viable solution for the space that I'm in. So if you guys have a garage to be able to store your kayak, you'll be able to hang this bad boy. So what we're gonna do is unbox this, install it, and give you my honest feedback and give you guys a little demonstration on how this product works. So thanks for sticking around and enjoy the video. All right, let's unbox this. First impression on the packaging. I mean, I'm pretty impressed that they can fit this entire kayak hoy system in this small little package. Let's go ahead and organize all this. One of my favorite colors. It looks like we've got two straps here. Uh, the pulley system, um, the hardware that mounts on the ceiling, the uh, piece that holds the slack of the wall, and lag bolts. Comes with an installation guide. I highly recommend reading the manual. That's what the kayak hoist system is gonna look like at the end. And we're gonna go ahead and start the install. Here we go. Now, to prepare your tools for this installation, what we're gonna do here and what we've got is our drill. I've got an impact driver as well, but that is not needed. But if you've got the extra tools, go ahead and use it. For bits, we've got the three over 32 and the, I believe, three over 16 inch bit. We have a 12 millimeter socket. I've got a small little socket wrench, as well as some stud finders. I also have this stud buddy, which has been really cool. It'll magnetize to the nails that are attached to the studs in your walls. So you'll be able to gauge where the middle of the stud is. And typically they're 16 inches apart so you'll be able to find them pretty easily with this. It's like a simple magnetic tool, which I'm excited to use for this project. And also don't forget, you'll need a pencil to mark your pilot holes. And I think that's pretty much it. And we're gonna go ahead and get started with this install.
see, we are done installing the ceiling hoist system for the kayak. This is the Teal Triangle Elite Pulley System by Store Your Board. Again, guys, check them out. This is an awesome product, as you can see. We did have to make a few adjustments to ensure that the kayak was stable. Again, multiply the length of your kayak by 0.4, and that will give you the positions for the middle and the single pulley mounting plates. Uh, as you can see, it's leveled and everything works great. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a demonstration now. As you guys can see, we've got the slack wall mount over here this is where we put the rest of the line. Let me just get this untangled for a second. So this is a great system, but you definitely need some strength to pull a 12 foot kayak. This kayak weighs about 77 pounds. This is where you put the slack line. This has a brake system. As you can see, it's off the wall mounting plate. I'm still getting used to the brake system. I don't want to drop it from, you know, eight feet high and damage the kayak or the garage. So what we're going to do is just kind of give you guys a little demonstration on how this works. So get in position and as you pull down, it releases the brake system and then you can release the front and the back. And as you let go, the brake system automatically clamps onto the rope and ensure safety so it doesn't just fall uh, but yeah make sure you're prepped I'll release the brake release the brake take a little break lower down you want to go you want to go slowly want to ensure the stability of your ceiling as well as the kayak and all the hardware components that you have purchased I store your board but definitely definitely very good quality material work slow this is not a race you want to keep all your investments intact uh, i would also recommend wearing gloves but you know if you're a man you got man hands and there you go Bruh. a quick tip whenever you get your straps tightened down um, on the kayak ready to go up you want to make sure the pulleys are centered because if you don't, that's going to tip the kayak. So figure out the center of gravity and then start hoisting it up. So now that we're good, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hoist that up. Hoist it up now. Here we go. Again, with that brake system, as you can see, you can take a little break, catch your breath, make sure you're good. And then when you're ready to go, hoist it up. And then make sure you put the slack here. So as you can see, we're good to go. We're cleared. It's cleared up pretty. I can put my hands all the way up to the sky and now utilize this entire row right here for the rest of our tools and whatever we want to do for the, the garage. So, all right guys, that is the product. It's definitely not a walk in the park when you're trying to pull this up or put it down. So be very careful, but as soon as you've got it up, once you've stored your board, it is definitely worth the price. Um, again, this is the Teal Triangle Elite Pulley System by Store Your Board. Definitely a great product so far. Make sure you have a stud finder you install and you drill through the studs correctly and safely as seen in the installation piece. So guys, I would definitely recommend this product if you're looking for a solution in your garage to store your kayak. They definitely make other products for stand-up paddle boards, sit-in kayaks, wall mounting solutions. They don't just do the, the ceiling solutions, tool organizations, all that good stuff. So check them out guys. Thank you StoryWord for sending this over for us to try out. We'll give you guys an update on probably Instagram and all that stuff to see how this thing is holding up. I'm definitely liking this solution. It clears up the garage space just how I want it. Doesn't fit flush, but that's due to the hardware, but that's pretty close. So I'm pretty happy with the product so far. Let's check them out. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one, all right? Woo!